Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here. I just wanted to go over a very easy thing for video editing because I get a lot of questions of how can I edit in my videos? What can I do to edit in my videos? Uh, what is the best thing to use? Well, let me tell you. Basically, um, that's a jet going over too. Uh, jets get loud on around here. Anyways, uh, this is also for Eden. Eden, Miss Eden, ha does you know does like some help, and she wants to know how to edit it, videos and stuff like that. Well, the basically everybody has their opinion, but I think Windows Movie Maker is easy, and if you're just starting out with um, editing videos, this is the way to do it. Basically, this is what you do. We're in Windows Movie Maker right now. And basically, if you wanted to go over here and put in your video, now mine is on the desktop, so since mine is on the desktop, we will go over here and get it. Okay? Alright? Now, since we have it, um, this is the Incredible Hulk soundtrack uh, from the old TV show with Lou Ferrigno and Bill Bixby. So, basically, what you actually do is how to edit it in is you go down here and where it says video and you put it in just like that okay now basically if we were gonna put in a picture we would go to pictures and we would look for a picture let's go into uh, my pictures we got um, some of our things, we have Ben's things, and you can put in anything just about. Uh, basically, if you wanted to put in a picture, you would double click on the picture and click on here. And that's one of the easiest things of what to do. So, if you didn't want a picture, you would just do the, you know, pick, you know, delete. And basically, also. You know, if you wanted in music, like let's say I wanted to put in some music, well, here we go. Uh, I could put in um, um, some of my s s soundtracks. So, like, if I wanted to, I can go over here and do Fox Opener, and then drag it down onto the audio and music. And so, see, let's try this. there you go so basically you got audio and you got music and stuff like that and basically that's one of the easiest things on what to do now if you want to publish it if you want to make it render so everybody can see it um, you just have to go to publish to okay publish to and then this computer you can save it anywhere you can save it in documents you can save it in I usually save mine to the desktop. You can, you can do videos. You can do public videos. You can do a lot of things up there. So that's what I do. So if I was gonna save it, I would uh, call it, what, rename it like um, Hulk Music. Okay. Then I'll go to next, and then okay. Everybody has their own opinion, but I think the fastest thing to do is go down to you go down you you click up from the best quality down to here, and we have all this like we have media um, portable device, we have DVD quality of 3.0, we have um, DVD widescreen, we have HD, we have Xbox 360, so. You know, if it's on an Xbox 360 and you're watching it, it's HD on there. You have uh, Windows Media HD um, 1080, and you also have Windows Media Low Bandwidth. Like I think it's with people with like um, I never touched this one or this one. The uh, Windows Media VHS quality. I think that's for people that have um, DSL. But um, we will go with, um, which one will we go with? Now the fastest one for me is I do media portable, 
portable device 1.0 just because it goes really really fast and that's a secret I'm able to do it really really fast and so now it's rendering so we won't render the whole entire thing but it takes a little bit of time and you gotta wait for a little while um, you know it'll go very very fast so you look at that time 17 and maybe it'll go faster than that sometimes and then it'll come out here to it'll come out here to the desktop so basically there you go um, it's really easy to work with and stuff like that and you could do a lot with it and if anybody has any questions um, feel free to ask and stuff like that and I hope that helps and thank you guys very very much uh, have a good one peace